So it was a Korean skater who won the women's event yesterday, Kan Hyunso Park. If not win the event, push towards the top six. He will be eager to move up from the position he finds himself in after the short program of seventh, the top ranked skater in this group. So Park can barely sustain his finished position, perhaps a disappointment. A skater that's just starting his 2024 Junior Grand Prix. He'll compete again in Wuxi in China. He had 109 points in the Korean Junior Grand Prix qualifying event as the Korean ice dancers cheer him on. But it was a, a tough skate in which it appeared like he rushed many of the takeoffs. You know, Mark, there's a very fine line between uh, speed and aggressiveness and control and here it seems he has the speed and aggressiveness but he didn't have a hundred percent control on this day he might on other days for sure chip a loop on a lean under rotated but he stands up so that was good he didn't take a fall on that and here's the triple flip a little bit later and does fall on this one you can see that the upper body didn't stop the rotation 
Triple Lutz a little bit later on a lean. He wasn't really over his skates in the air at all today. He was on a lean on pretty much every jump, some more severe than others, which caused either a fall or a step out. So not his day. He's a strong skater, just not his day. Yeah, and you can see even in some of the transitions, and I, I dare say whether the skaters are conscious of it or not, but even when he was doing the Mohawk transition, the crossovers, there's an element of rushing. And that's just surely because we can't underestimate that in the midst of a program, the skater is bound to be overwhelmed with the enormity of the task at hand. So it's just, get going, get going. I've got to get the next done, I've got to get the next done. Rather than when they isolate each element in practice, when they have time and the luxury of time, then they can allow their technique to do what it needs to do rather than snatching. Uh, absolutely well said. And in addition to that, when the, when the muscles start to fatigue, the brain's going, okay, getting tired, they're throwing more coal in the engine, <laughs> you know, here. Okay, use more <laughs> strength, use more muscle, shove that. And that's not the answer. The answer is technique and timing but if you're tired your muscles don't spring or react as quickly so that fatigue is really dangerous if you've got that halfway through your program and quite often that comes in if you're making falls because it takes more energy to get up and chase the music so it's sort of a vicious circle and, and I think one that is just keep saying I hate the repetition of my words sometimes but unless you have done a run through for a junior free skate or a junior free dance or a junior pair or a senior one you won't know how intense the burn is yeah it is <laughs> but it is kids you gotta do your run throughs you've got to as painful as they are you have to run through this program even if they're not all the difficult elements you need that three or four minute repetition of energy hmm. expended so that it's not even a concern in a, in a free program. 98.65, that is 11th in the free program. And with the 157.82, that will put him currently still into third place for the moment six skaters to come. But that was not the program that he's capable of or had trained for.